Port Allen here. Thanks everybody for watching and listening. We're talking about a brand new fantastic show. So help me Todd with one of the stars, Inga Schlingman. Uh, and I saw on your socials, no new episode tonight, sadly, but no. concurrently, when do you guys come back? We come back in two weeks. Okay. So you're on yeah. like a, a fall sort of slight hiatus a little bit. Are you still yeah. taping? We are still taping. Okay. We start episode 15 on Friday, actually. So tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah. well, congratulations and thank you for hanging out today. This is such a smart show. And uh, as people can see behind me, uh, a top notch cast. And of course, Inga, I'm very curious what interested you about this project because it's very smartly written. Um, and outside of a traditional, you know, I got an email from a manager type of thing, but was there something about the project that particularly interested you yeah no so scott scott is our is the creator of the show um and it's actually based on a true story the pilot yeah um so that was very interesting in itself but it's it's kind of akin to what cbs is known for which is procedurals but the hook of it is the comedy um so it's actually really fun to do because it's got the fun of comedy but like the procedural aspect yeah, that's one of the things that I found interesting about it. It's kind of like a hybrid type of genre, mm -hmm. which is very cool. And I mean, your character is fun to watch and everybody, this this entire ensemble is so, it's just a fun show. Yes. So if, for people who haven't watched, I think you would do a far better job <laughs> explaining uh, what the show is about and your character in particular for people who haven't had a chance. We're not spoiling anything, everybody, so don't worry. Don't worry, we're not spoiling anything. Um, so it's really uh, like a two-hander. That's predominantly what it's about. It's um, about a mother-son relationship where the son is kind of the black sheep of the family. He lost his private investigator license and is really on the up and up. Uh, and Marsha Gay Harden plays his mom. Yeah. Um, and she's this like really steadfast, you know, bulldog lawyer. Um, I work for Margaret, a.k.a. Marsha Gay Harden. And Todd, Skylar Aston, is my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> now, how does it feel to be working with some of the best of the best? I mean, I imagine when you're working with some of the top notch number ones on the call sheet and on a two hander, it yeah. just has to be so rewarding as a, as a storyteller. I mean, it's such a good show. I mean, I feel like I'm gushing here, but I really do mean it. It's just I, with so much content out there today and yeah. so many choices, it's hard to pick something, but that's what I found about this show. I got hooked. And then I was like, hey, from the network, can I get some more screeners? Like, we can't, but you can wait. But and then I reached out for you. Oh, that's so great. I'm actually really happy to hear that you love the show so much. We've been getting a lot of great feedback overall. So what is it like working with um, these amazing, amazingly, amazingly talented people? it's like a master class in acting. It's just, you're thrown onto set and you have a bunch of people who are really showing you the craft from like behind the scenes. Sure. Um, so it's been amazing to to see all of that un unravel. I've gotten like tips and tricks from Marsha K. Harden and a couple of the guest stars who have visited set. It's been really, really wonderful. Yeah, I can imagine. And again, just going back to what I said initially, so smartly written and it's yeah. just, it's very good. Um, even for like single multicam, I mean, you just keep everybody moving constantly. I had heard about this project for a while, and then we're just now getting episodes. When did this whole genesis begin for the show? Because I know it's been talked about for a while, and then life happens, right? Yeah, and, life and, always happens. And if um, you know anything about the business, you know, anything <laughs> can take a while to get it uh, out the door and done. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think I have my audition for the first, the first round of auditions was in February and then it happened like very, very quickly at a producer session in zoom. And actually it was a little bit, um, caused a little bit of trauma for me because I was in Vieques, Puerto Rico for a friend's, um, wedding. Okay. And so I got super nervous about not having enough Wi-Fi. Um, oh, but wow. yeah, I know, but it, it like literally the Wi-Fi lasted for a good 15 minutes, which is the exact 15, 15 minutes that I needed. Um, and then, you know, you go into testing and all that stuff. And so I think, I think we started filming in March. It was like March kind of to April. And then we okay. found out we got picked up in, in May. And then we were back out here in July. Fantastic. Well, you, I was looking at your filmography and you've had 
a lot of great projects that you've been involved in. But, and I asked this question carefully because I think overall to be in a place where you just feel super confident about the industry is, is almost impossible, I think, to a point because it's so ever-changing and a very fickle <laughs> uh, fellow. But has there been one project or maybe this one where it really has solidified for you, uh, Inga, as a storyteller and as a creator where you knew this was like your calling because your world is so different than most people would be familiar with. Yeah. And also just to say, you can always ask questions uncarefully. <laughs> that gives you um, any kind of freedom. Um, but actually Viola Davis said in a, in a round table recently that like, I don't think you really ever feel fully confident. Yeah. I think imposter syndrome is always the thing. I think particularly with our cast who is so, so talented, um, you know, you kind of always feel like, oh man, am I doing a good job? Um, yeah, I would imagine so. <laughs> yeah. And so I don't know if I ever necessarily feel like I'm, I'm like, if I have it, um, but this project is obviously the best project that I've, that I've been a part of because it's smartly written because also like what's great about Scott and also the other writers is there's a lot of feedback on mm -hmm. like how we're feeling about the script, how we're feeling about our characters. And we have like open conversations and things actually change in the writing room based upon like how we're feeling, which is like totally different than anything. Sure. I've ever experienced. Yeah. I think it's fascinating. And I, I saw an interview, I think it was a couple of days ago, the actor's name escapes me, but okay. <laughs> he was directing a film and he had some very big names in it. And it was his first run at directing. And he, he even said something similarly to what you said, where it's like he was just so in awe of everybody around him that he was even asking himself, like, why am I here? Why did they pick me to do this? And I imagine as an actor and as a storyteller that it just... It has to be fun and exciting, but yet I would be a huge ball of nerves. I did some stand-in and background work years ago, mm -hmm. and I just find myself enamored with your world. <laughs> it's just yeah, like, no, it's so sure. different. Yeah, no, I don't think the nerves ever go away, at yeah. least from my perspective, they never really go away. Um, one of the things I've been really trying to do, especially during this project, is to try and really enjoy my time. Sure. Because I think the thing about acting and, and booking projects is like you just never know when the next project is. And I, I constantly hear that when I'm listening to actors on podcasts or like when actors speak on roundtables is you just never know. You just never know if like this is the last project. Um, and so I've been really trying to relish this entire opportunity and being on set and like having fun with the cast and the crew. So a lot of that. Yeah. Well, fantastic work. It's always fun to watch the dynamic between the three of you. Two more weeks, folks. If you're watching and listening, we get more episodes and hopefully a new season order. I don't, I know that's always, you never know, but yeah, you if never you know. don't pick this show up, it's ridiculous because it's just <laughs> so good. Um, one last question out of all the projects that you've done, um, is there one piece of advice that you've been given either by cast or maybe just in life that has sustained you and stuck with you throughout the trajectory of your career? Yeah, I don't think this is necessarily project related, but this is definitely like actor related. I think one of the things that I always had, um, like trepidation about was um, paths that have been set forward by other people. It's like, yeah. well, if you haven't been discovered by 20, then that means that you will never be discovered and like no one will care about you and good luck to you. And I think, and like, and there are other, there are other narratives as well. Like there's no way that you could be in a corporate job and also be an actor. Right. And I want to say to all actors, like it's garbage, create your own path. Uh, create your own journey. Um, when I booked this, I was in a corporate job. Um, I am in my thirties. So, and it's like my first like really big project. And I think that it's really important for actors to know that they can be the first of something. And it's not just a path that someone else has given you or told you or to give up or something like that. Sure. I think it's important. Yeah. Wow. Well, very well said, Inga. Thanks. And it's <laughs> been a true pleasure chatting with you. And I'm so glad we were able to make this happen. This is a very smart and lovely show. So help me, Todd. Um, if people want to watch it or catch it, can we plug it here so people know when the next episode drops? Of course. So it drops in two weeks, so two weeks from today. Um, and it'll be uh, 9 p.m. on CBS, Eastern Time and Pacific. So you kind of have to adjust with Central. Um, and yeah, watch the show. It'll be exciting. Actually, there's 
way more excitement coming up. So definitely, definitely tune in. <laughs> awesome. Well, Inga, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure chatting with you and meeting with you today. All the success uh, from this and everything is very much and very well deserved. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. 